why would you give your baby the hepatitis B vaccine if you don't have hepatitis B? Let's talk about it. If you haven't seen part one, go watch that first. So it's not just about mom. Your baby will meet hundreds of people in their first year alone. We can't know everybody's hepatitis status, so it's more about protecting your baby from risk that we can't predict. 25% of people with hepatitis B are infected as kids and teens. So when I say risk, think daycare, playground injuries, kids biting other kids, think Healthcare workers, medical equipment, blood transfusions. As your kid gets older, think tattoos, piercings, sex, think college. These are just some things to keep in mind. The hepatitis B vaccine is a three shot series. The CDC recommends that babies are vaccinated at birth, at two months old, and then around six months old. If you've missed this window or you're considering a delayed vaccine schedule, don't panic. You can start the series at any time, but you do lose the best protection window. Let's talk about risk. There was a study done in the US that analyzed all neonatal deaths after receiving the hepatitis B vaccine from 1991 to 1998. There were 18 deaths reported after 86 million doses were given. That's a rate of about one death per 4.8 million doses given. Of those 18 deaths, 12 babies died from SIDS, three from infection, one from intracranial hemorrhage, one from accidental suffocation, and one from heart problems. Now let's talk about kids who don't receive the vaccine. 90% of babies who become infected will develop chronic infection. 25% of those babies will die. So one in four babies that are infected with hepatitis B will die. Here's a chart comparing death rates in kids who are infected with hepatitis B versus kids who are fully vaccinated against hepatitis B. As always, you are the parent and you have the right to choose what is best for you and your family. Save this video so you can come back to it later and I hope that you learned something.